Get ready to paint a beautiful gannet in full flight using pastels. Begin with a black pencil and block in the tip of the wing. Start at the top of the painting and then work downwards to keep smudging to a minimum. Fill in all the black feathers. Negative paint in the edge of the upper white feathers and then use a small rubber shaper to smooth the pastel. Lightly smudge in the grey between the primary feathers. Now, with some soft white to the wing and with a white pencil, smooth it out and half press it into the paper. With a light blue pencil, very lightly apply the sky reflections to the feathers. Then gently smooth it out with a rubber blender or similar. With a white pastel pencil, very lightly indicate some reflections on the black feathers. With a yellow ochre pencil, start blocking in the head. Then add a touch of orange to the top. Add the rest with the white pencil and carefully blend all smoothly together. Block the body in with soft white pastel stick and smooth it with the blender. And touch up the edges with a white pencil. With a black pencil add the wing shadow. Then paint the beak in with a light grey and outline with black. With black and grey, fill in the tail and feathers and the tucked in feet. With an ultramarine pencil, lightly touch the sky reflections onto the body. Block in some soft white on the wing and add the black alula. Smooth the white and add some sky reflections. And then with black, add the shadows of the secondary coverts. And then add the lighter color and blend. Now add the white stripes to the primary feathers. Add the dark shadow. And then add the lighter reflections to separate the feathers. Don't be too hasty here. Take your time. Continue doing the same to the other feathers. Complete one feather at a time so as not to get confused. Blend with a stump and the white pencil. Once again, take your time with the wing as it is the nearest and largest section of the bird. With the side of an ultramarine soft pastel stick, start blocking in the background. You don't need to cover it completely if using the grey background. Over this block in a blue-green colour and with the fingers blend them together. Notice that some of the grey is still shining through. With some soft white begin to lightly stroke in some hints of the waves below the gannet. Dark on the lower right hand corner some more and gently blend. Be very careful when blending at the edges of the gannet. Now with the side of a white pencil softly stroke in some waves and the loose foam lines on the surface of the water. With a very soft touch of the fingers gently blend the white. All these waves are slightly out of focus so as to emphasize the bird. Keep on adding and softening until you have sufficient movement of the water. The lower right hand corner being closer will be slightly dark and more detailed than the distant water at the top left hand corner. This is to create perspective. Like the video if you have enjoyed watching it. And also, we would love you to subscribe to our channel.